We're live. We are. We're on. Hi, Drea. Hi, Janice. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. We're live from Virginia uh, on the East Coast this week. Yep. It's kind of exciting. It is. This is our first time doing this. Kate and Cara on their way to Beads, Bubbles, and Jewels. Um, I went with Kate last year, but don't ask me where it is. It's in... Cincinnati, um, Cleveland, isn't it? Cleveland, Cleveland, Cleveland. yes, yeah, someplace in Ohio. So we're sending our love out to uh, Kate and Kara and everyone at Beats, Bobbles, and Jewels. They're doing They're five so episodes in one day. Last year we did three, and I practically and I didn't even have to go on. I you was just, all I was all the was the prop and backup, and I was exhausted. So. Well, you but did a lot. You Kate, did a lot of Kate's a wizard. So. I did, I did, but Kate's the wizard. So um, we're standing in for Kate, um, and we're sending out our love to everybody. Uh, let's see who's out there. Uh, Melanie and Karen, uh, Andrea, you're watching. I just finally got involved up here. I see you, Tammy and yeah, Cindy Tammy. Brooke. Hi, Tammy Cindy and Brooke Cindy. Cindy bracelet she made me. Yeah. Uh, I see Peggy. I see Grace. Uh, I see Kim Crawford, who loves my necklace. This is my version of, of Janice's Zen of Stringing that I did with a piece it's I got. so pretty. Uh, last year at um, Bead Fest Philly. Yes, from Green that Girl. green girl. And I made it in, in the car because it was very zen. It's really, it's really lovely. Now, you always have a story about your jewelry. This probably has a story. What's the story? Uh, it's my bunnies. I love my rabbits. And Green Girl makes some nice rabbits. And I have um, another tiny rabbit up in here. Maybe, we can take a picture. Maybe we'll we can take, take a picture. picture. Um, but I just, I, I had had these colored beads for so long, I had nothing to do with them. I never knew what to do. And then your project came along. Well, and you know, you can take beads that don't belong together and they belong together when you sort of glue them together with a common thread or a common metal bead or mm -hmm. um, a story. So and it, it was perfect. It was the perfect project. And now one of my favorite, favorite projects. I've made many for friends. Christmas gifts last year. It was, it's, and it's so calming. You called it the Zen of Stringing, yeah, and it, it was, was so perfectly named. It well, really I have an idea. I want to do the, uh, the Zen of Stringing with the new green girl, uh, two goldfish in a pond mm -hmm. or two koi in a pond. I had the same idea. I texted Kate asking if I could do it. <laughs> yeah, well, I, ha I have it here. You I, think could... everyone, I think everyone wants to do that one. It's beautiful. I know. It's so, it's really lovely. And I wanted, I had a koi pond and when, at my old house. I put, I dug it and I knew nothing about how to do this. And somehow I made a good pond that the raccoons couldn't get to because it was just deep. It was and you deep. had all the koi in it? it they, well, they were the extra size goldfish. Mm -hmm. But if you have like a little sandy beach going up, the raccoons will just go in and get your fish out. But if you make it straight down deep, they're afraid. So news to anyone out there. This has been you Koi can... Pond Making with Janice and Drea. <laughs> So, so here we are today. What are we doing today? Uh, we are going to do abacus looming. Abacus looming, yes. And Janice is still looming away over here. Um, uh, well, I'm just, pr I'm pre-stringing, I'm yeah, pre-stringing the beads. It looks beautiful this so is, far. This is what we're going to do today. You want to hold it up? So we can talk Janice a little bit. Janice made this project, um, I don't know, several months ago now. Yeah. But we didn't really have any instruction uh, or anything for it. We just kind of posted it, posted the ingredients, right. but it's different than the normal um, textile looming. You were inspired by Kate's textile right. looming, where she added a decorative weft, which you did with uh, the 0.5 millimeter leather, and right. then added right. the... And, and I want to show this. Let's show this. This is sort of what got me started. I don't know what we can do. Maybe a close-up. We can do it. We can do it when we move but the But this the camera. was just a little piece of the 0.5 leather that I used that got me started on this I started saying why can't you use like a bead loom in other ways than just bead 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 what happens if you put 
What if you use leather for your weft? What if you let your boot, your beads like slide around? Mm -hmm. I, so this abacus looming was just a kind of a weekend um, draw outside the lines and they're, for I mean, looming. They're, they're not super loose on here, but they're loose enough that you can yeah. they have some play and some some yeah. movement to them. And it, I remember when you were making this and you were uh, designing it. And it's you, a little big for you. And it, well, I have teeny yeah. little wrists, uh, but it's it's just a fun piece. It would make a great necklace on you. It might fit around my neck. Yeah. <laughs> now this is that bountiful clasp. We'll have to tell everyone how to open and close it because it is. It it's it's a little. You have to. You have to you, be able to. You, yeah, you have to go. You can't go like this. Ah, ah, ah. No, you have to do like the bicycle, like the kickstand. Go, ah. Eh. Little. So we'll little show that when we go close up. I do like this clasp, though. I like the little rivet look to it. Oh, uh, so someone was referring to my tape measure. Do they like my necklace? <laughs> this is the world's longest tape measure. It is very long. Uh, it's it's 89 inches or 90 inches. So I it don't is, know. It makes a nice. Uh, I should cut it, but then someday if I needed something, what if you need eighty nine or ninety yeah. inches, then I'll go. Shoot! I wish I hadn't cut that tape measure. It, yeah, that's it's very it. old school. So, um, well, before we really get started on this project, sure. do you want to talk about um, the Alley Cat mix? And yes. The donation. <clears throat> yes. So thank you, everyone out there who bought Alley Cat this month. We raised two hundred dollars for Pets in Need which is an organization in Redwood City, California. It's actually the first no-kill animal shelter in California. <clears throat> and my mom, Lydia, uh, is the person who helped found it. She used to do kinds of garage sales to raise money, and they've moved to a larger location. And my kitties, Sadie and Sammy, were both um, adopted from Pets in Need. So we um, raised two hundred dollars. A dollar of every tube we sold of Alley Cat went to a donation to Pets in Need. So thank you so much for that. Um, I thought that was so cute. The picture of Alfie signing the check. No one's seen that yet. Oh. Look in your newsletters tomorrow. Look in your newsletters tomorrow. Yes, it'll be um, tomorrow. It's really cute. Alfie is laying down with a check that says Alfred. Alfred T. Pickles. Alfred T. Pickles. It's the very T is cute. for whatever you wanted it to stand for. Right. Yeah. So thank you for that. Um, and we also want to spend a couple of minutes. Are we going to talk now we, about we the can, MG walk? Uh, Lorraine just asked if we were wearing teal. Uh, she saw your teal ribbon uh, for ovarian cancer, which teal ribbon is also the, the awareness ribbon for ovarian cancer. I think it's also for colon cancer, isn't it? It might be. All the, Teal is a really great color. All of those ribbon colors have so many yeah. different things that I've been finding out. But we're doing teal uh, <clears throat> for my senior gravis, which right. is an autoimmune disease that I was diagnosed with last year, uh, which is why this eye gets wonky and why when you see me with my glasses on, it hides the wonky eye. Well, it's just very intriguing. Mysterious, Drea, with your fogged glass. It's not intriguing. People come up to me and say, your glasses are fogged up. Your fo up. glasses, oh. And I say, yeah, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. But it's, uh, it's neuromuscular autoimmune disease, so it makes my muscles weak, uh, including the eye muscles. And uh, sometimes I have trouble walking. A lot of times I have trouble typing. Um, if I talk too much, I get my, my mouth stops moving even. So we're, we're working on finding a cure. There's no cure. There's not great treatments, although there have been some recent breakthroughs, and that's because of uh, the the efforts of people donating mm -hmm. and fundraising. And we uh -huh. had a fundraiser last night. It was really fun. It was great. Janice came. I was with super, Ashley, super happy my to daughter, have and yes, Eli, Eli. Wait, my little grandson. We had a good time. It was a nice group, and we're going to walk and on our, the thirteenth. And yes, and are you going to link to? All of, well, I'll let you talk. There'll, there'll be information in your newsletters tomorrow. Um, we're not going to link to you today. We, we'll make a separate thing tomorrow. But we will have a fundraiser with the uh, bead fam, like I like to call you guys. Uh, we Last year what we did, Janice and I walked, and Janice donated a $50 gift certificate to beadshop.com, and we raffled it off. And we're going to do the same thing this year, 
and we're also adding some extra prizes. So all of that information is going to be in a blog post and in your newsletters tomorrow. Uh, I, you know, I have to say, I walked. Everyone was you way walked. ahead of me. And like they were passing me and they were going, you can do it, you can do it. And I just kept going and going and I got to the end of the walk. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do it again this year. And what, we'll, what we did last year and we'll do again this year is we will draw a name for our winner at the walk. We'll go live from the walk. Mm -hmm. um, it's in a really, really beautiful location. Anyone can join us. And anyone local can join yeah. us. Um, we'll have all the information on the blog. Um, I'll, I have a little flyer here. Actually, this flyer, I don't know if you knew this, Jazz. This is the flyer that they send out everywhere, all, all around the world, all around, you know, nationally. And there's a picture of you on it? And there's a picture of me and Kara and Grace on it, which wow. I don't know if this is really, but that's that's me in the middle and Kara and Grace, and that's what they send out to everyone. That's cool. That's and cool. we're in the emails. It's kind of funny. So that's I'll be going to San Francisco again this this November yes. to do the walk out there. And then you'll do Free Tip Friday with and Kate. And I will do a Free Tip Friday with Kate while I'm there. Right. And um, get a chance to fill some orders. Yeah. I'm gonna, yeah, it's going to be fun. I've only ever been in the office once. So this will be my chance to do some more stuff and get more hands on. Um, and just Well, everyone's excited to see you. I'm excited about it. And then it. next year, we, we want you to come to the retreat, too. I know. I know. We'll try to yeah. make that work and work out. I, yeah. Is that Aileen? Oh, my, my, my eyes, I can't see Aileen. very well. Aileen. Oh, Aileen, you want to join us? Great. I should have just looked over here where I could see. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you put um, your glasses on? Because it's because it's too hard for me even with my glasses on. To see oh. Again. All right. We've been chatting and chewing here for a bit. So yeah. Do you so are we ready to, to start working? Yes. Trudy, uh, Grace has moved on she yes found... she's got a great job yes she's doing web design now and um she really likes her new job uh we wish she would stop by more but she's so busy but i know if she were here she would say um it's a great cause and then for those of you in san francisco when it, the the walk is november i think it's november 18th don't quote but, me on that. But you're welcome to join the Beach Shop crew um, if you're out there. Some so, of us will be walking out there yeah. too, yep. Yeah, so. Yay. Okay, so right. shall we? I am going to move the camera. Yeah, let's move the camera. And I'm going to just um, pretend I know what I'm doing. You know what you're doing. Ah, maybe a little bit. You do. So, so bear with us here because okay. we don't have uh, the great setup that we have yeah in the we office. don't have the the mevo or tivo or what is it called mevo mevo the mevo and it's just the two of us here yeah it's just it's just us chickens so, so um, hold on to your hats here hopefully i can make this work i think you can i think i can i'm confident can. you can do it i certainly can't but i think you can i We'll get it. We'll get it. I'm hoping we're not upside down right now. I guess we'll find out in about two shakes of I know. We have to wait for the lamb's tail. I didn't have the, the camera facing the right way this time. All right. So let's move this over. Okay. Let's get... Get us in. Get us in the picture. I'm gonna move some of these because I think we gotta move you this way a bit. Ooh, gosh, that's really shaky looking, guys. Sorry, now that I'm able to view it. Rosie, thank you. My bracelet was made by Cindy Brooke. She sent that to me as a nice gift. All right, bear with me here. Let's see. Gita was on and commenting. I did see her earlier, I thought. Yes, I saw her commenting. Maybe she's to... maybe she's going out to make a open face sandwich. It's it's dinner there or something. I don't know. I do not know. I have no idea what time it is there. Karen says looks good. I did just move it a little bit more. I'll just give it a moment here and make sure that we are in a. Are we nice and focused? Mm, not so focused. Not super focused. Let's, it's still catching up though, okay. so let's give it let's a sec. Okay, let's give it a sec. Donna says looks good. Oh, Gita says I'm here. Here she is. Hi, Gita. I think 
think we're all right. Do you guys, is this okay for everybody? Shoot us some comments. I mean, be honest. Questions. Tell us the truth. If it's real, if it's not in focus, um, don't be kind because we're new at this. Be honest and we'll take a, mid, a minute or two to fiddle with it, maybe bring it lower. I don't know if I can. Can we lower it at all? Uh, we don't want to because we, we need to see the whole of the tray. So we, okay. we have the room to see everything. We can't, we don't have the zoom in and zoom out capabilities that they okay. do in the office. Okay, so. Looks fine to me, looks great. Okay. Looks a little blurry, but that may looks, be my age, Nancy. No, Nancy, it's, maybe it's, it's, we have a lot of it's fine. Okay, all right, then let's, let's just. Uh, I think this is gonna have to do. This is gonna have to do um, for today. So you let me know when I, I I'm in frame now, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I want to talk a little bit about Abacus Looming. Um, so this project was done on regular Ceylon, and I use the regular Ceylon for um, the warp. And the warp. Oh, let's turn this. I'm getting comments to turn this around. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's see if that makes it better. This is more over the shoulder than okay. than uh, face to face. So let's see. Okay, how's that, Amy? There we go. All right, great. Okay, so if I want to go a little more this way, now it'll be a little more in the screen, probably. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um. So I'll, I'll start again. So this is done on um, on regular Ceylon, but you could use top three. Uh, you could use almost really anything. Um, Superlon would work, regular Superlon. Anything that's gonna give you a nice, a nice kind of um, body to your project. Um, and then if you look up over here, I also used, um, the regular Ceylon for the weft right below the clasp. Um, then this, these beads here were strung on um, KO. And then I picked some of the beads out of um, my pot, popcorn padres and picked out just the green. And then this is the part that I think many of you are intrigued by, which is doing a weft with something other than like a cord, but using leather. And now can I show mm -hmm. um, this? Yeah. So am I, is this like, this will be under it, right? It's gonna have to catch up, but yeah. Okay. We have a delay of what we see and what they see. Okay. So this is um, natural point five leather, Indian leather. And I just took my a regular Ceylon and I decided what would it look like if I started um, weaving with it and I was very intrigued with how it looked and I thought I think I could do a whole bracelet this would look great as an entire bracelet and then just you know I, I figured out my way of ending it which I'll show you mm -hmm. um, but I'm gonna put this aside now okay should we hold it up a little bit yeah, let's so see. we could see it a little better See if it focuses a little okay, bit. Okay, let's see if it'll. Sorry for the. There's there's maybe like a 10 second delay between what right. we say and what shows up, and it's a little confusing sometimes. Okay, so oh that, that's good almost. Okay, people are liking that. We'll take a photo for episode. Yeah. Ones too. Okay. You know me. I'm gonna get it in episode okay. notes. Okay. So um, to go back to this, that's where I did the leather. And then these were the, um, the, uh, not the, the earthbound, right? Yes. Um, the earthbound Padres. And then um, I repeated this on the other side. So it's a very, very simple project. Um, and if this is your first uh, time looming, it's easy. You can even do this, you can even do this on a shoe box. It's that easy. So what you're going to do is you're gonna cut 
whatever the length of your um, tray is, and if you're using a shoe box, make sure that it's a good sturdy top. Or you could use even a kitchen pan with sides. Cut it long enough um, so that it will wrap all the way around your board with a little bit extra. Now, Kate has shown it where she does it as one continuous piece and then ties a knot, and that's great, but except for this, it's too difficult to string your beads on and then tie it and wrap as you go. So what I did, I started, this is just six threads. What I started is I took each one and I did an individual um, cord with enough beads, what I thought was enough beads. And then um, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I don't need it now. And I'll move that one away. And I wanna show you, because I got an email, someone said, how do you tie this without someone else helping you? And it's actually quite easy. So I'm just going to take my cord, I'm wrapping it underneath. And I know I, someone is asking now, I bet, how many inches of beads did you use? I used four inches of beads, but the nice thing about this project is if you get too long, you can just bring your, the beads you don't want down, take them out of view, and then finish your project without them. So I would say about four inches of beads. Now, I'm hoping you can see this end um, of the board. Can we see that end? Let's see, um, before I... I would move it this way. Move it that way, okay. So let me start this again and I'm gonna do this twice. So I have my two ends of my thread and I always do this onto a corner. You need like the, the sharpness of the edge to push against. So I'm just pushing. I'm not worrying too much about how far away they are right now, but I want to bring it up right against the edge so I have something to hold it. And this thread, this uh, re uh, regular Ceylon is very forgiving. Then I just put my finger over uh, what I want to hold, and then I do the other half of the square knot, and then I pull it in. And even if it's a little loose, it's okay because you can tighten it down. See, so there are my ends. I have here now five, and I'm gonna do one more. So let me take the last one that I've pre-strung. This project is so easy that I don't think we'll even need an hour to demo it. It's that, it's so easy. Anyone can do this. This is a wonderful project to take, maybe for Thanksgiving, if you wanted to loom with people and you did, oh, I didn't, don't have enough beads on this one. Um, if you wanted to loom with people, so do I, the beads are on. Do you want to put more on? Yeah, I want, start? I'm gonna put a few more beads on. Okay. If you wanted to loom with people, you could use, like I said, the shoe box or all of the, the different, trays that you're the cooking trays that you're doing um, for the holidays and then all you need to do is wind your threads around the board and um, away you go and everyone can loom just bring a bunch of seed beads with you a bunch of needles um, and I'm not thinking about my pattern this is this strand of popcorn beads is popcorn padres is called mushroom and it's got just a whole bunch of different browns and golds and rusts. They're all sort of dark and I decided to pick up the copper. Um, okay, I'm a almost... A couple of questions here while you... Sure, start. sure. Uh, so, Ginger asks... Hi, Ginger! Ginger says, you could always use a shim between the strings in the board to tighten it up if needed. Yes. Which is something that you taught me. Yes, so you could take, you could take your, like even your spool of Ceylon and bring it under and that will lift it up. You're right, Ginger. And Rosie asks if you can use a jewel loom for this project. Uh, I would not. 
I don't know. I, I guess you could, as long as you could use each thread individually. I th that's how you would have to do it. Usually isn't the jewel loom where you wrap and you wrap it's and you wrap? It's a continuous. So this, this is not a continuous wrap. That's the only problem with this is because you want to string your beads onto your warp threads. Um, now I don't want you to be limited by my design because I want you to think about, well, I could do some I could do some warping or wefting in here, and then I could do some in here. I mean, this is just, the sky is the limit with this, this project. So let's see if I have enough beads now. I almost do, yep, I think I do. Okay, so I'm gonna take my thread. What are you fixing I'm now, I'm just seeing if I can tap the screen and focus a little okay, better. Okay, I wanna. But every oh. time we move up and down, it. it I know. I'm sorry, this. but I. No, I it's have not to, you. It's, I have, we have to, to. I have to lift it up. But to I get might. The, if you guys could see me now. Um, you're upside down. I'm backwards. upside down, trying to focus. This. We should. I'm gonna make it so we can take a selfie of our setup here. Uh, let's see. Could you still use individual warps on the loom and just tie at each end? Yeah. If you yeah. if you can, yeah. Um, I, I am such an old school, I went through trying to do so many looms, I gave up and it was Sam Applegate years and years ago who was a textile loomer who worked for us who said, you can make a loom on anything. And I said, what? And so um, I said, okay, let's make a loom on anything. So I'm just going to put this under to hold this up so it's nice and taut the way I want it. And then I'm going to just bring my threads where I want them. That's about right. Looks good. And then you're going to obviously want to measure your wrist. You don't want it too tight. Uh, this should drape a little bit, but we want to make sure we add the clasp uh, in terms of the length, we want to add room for the beads. Let me bring this bracelet back again. I'm going to see if I can move this a little bit sure. more into where, where the frame should be. Hopefully. Okay, and then now all I'm going to do is um, you can, and that the other thing, everyone, you can start wherever you want. If you want to start uh, like with your weft up here, which is what I usually start with um just start anywhere so this is the weft right at the top and then i worked my way up to that so let's start i'm going to put the ko aside for a minute and i'm going to um i'm going to cut off a piece of um i don't know maybe uh i don't need a yard but let's be generous i'm going to cut a yard I'm gonna put it back underneath so it's nice and rigid for me. And then um, I'm gonna start. So these move all over the place. You have the length of the board, which is 11 inches, which you don't really have with some of the looms. You can't like move it around, but I am going to move this down a little bit and then I'm just going to start my weft up here and if you can do this with a needle if you want or you can do it just you know with your hands however you want to do it and I want to make sure up over um, Are there any other questions? Right Drew? now they're all telling me I'm doing a good job at trying to do this. So thank you everybody. But I didn't see any questions yet. I think I might want my hands from all, you know, everyone I just moved and um, I am finding that my fingers are a bit stiff. I can use the tweezers. But you could use a big eye needle for this. And I'm not worrying about tightening it down right now. 
what I want you to just make sure is that you go over and under correctly. So I'm going over, I'm going under, and I'm going over and under. Um, how, what is it like if we turn the light on in here, Drea? Where is the light? The light switch is right behind me. And how is that? That's a little better for me, but how is it for everybody out there? Let's see what they say. Nancy asks, why wouldn't you want to start next to the strung beads? Uh, you can, you can, Nancy. Um, you can start anywhere you want. Um, I could bring this down and, and do some weft right next to the strung beads. Um, but when I, when I did this, I, I started with right by the clasp because I wanted to make sure I got the right thickness of the clasp and then I was able to go as big as I wanted. So this has to, we have to create, this has to be able to fit inside this opening here. And so my thinking was start by the opening so I know how wide to go. So that was, um, that was my thinking. So I'm gonna just start to bring this in a little bit. And I can move this, I've got this entire 11 inches. I can move this as far down here as I want or as close as I want to the beads. I have lots of room to play. So let me see if this is now. And as you do this, it starts to tighten up and find its, so that has to come in a little more. So let's come in a little more, come in a little more. Sorry, I don't mean to be covering it up, I know. Okay, so let's let's just do a little more so we get it a little more firmly in place. So over, under. There we go. So this is this section and as you can see, it's starting to come together nicely. Textile look. Yeah, it has that nice textile look and you just um, pull it in Tighten it as you go. I'm having a little trouble seeing today, everyone. Let's, okay. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I am going to end next to the clasp in the middle. I don't want you to end it. This is the same thing we do with the leather. We don't want to end um, at the end and have your thread stick out. So when we're done with this, we're going to glue all this down. And this is going to be in the middle. If we end it on the side, then the chance is that it would fray out and it would stick up. But in the center, you're pretty safe, especially with the zap glue. So let's see if this is the right size. Uh, has to come a little smaller. Okay, so I am not going to be making the whole bracelet today, so I don't have to make this, get this perfect, but we'll do each section because that's what this is about. So I'm just going to show you how when you get this to the size you want, then you're going to end this. You're going to end this section in the middle. You make this as long as you want. 
get it nice, get, you know, get enough rows. To see, I made it a lot smaller. Get it nice and tight. And then that will get glued in into the clasp. Okay, so now I want to show you. Well, we had a couple of suggestions here yeah. of using a needle. Yes, the needle would help, would and help. I could probably get up and get a big eye needle, but. Are they in this drawer? But I, um, they're in um, the drawer on the right. So now um, my next section of this is some ADOTs, and I'm using. Some of you know how I like to um, I like to use my thread double. I'm just a I know um, Emily does this volcano thing. I'm not uh, the big eye needle is really the best. You want something or a uh, yeah a, I don't know if the jewel loom needle would work. Um, but I, I'm going to get on one, two, three, four, five beads. Two, four, five. And I'm just gonna put these over here with a clip and get them out of the way. It's okay. I'm. I don't really need it now. So I'm coming under, and I'm putting all of my eight dots. I, I like to use my thread double, like I said, um, and I. I personally leave um, a bit of my thread and then I come back through grazing always grazing the top and you're using KO thread I'm you? using KO and I really like it doubled I do too I always double it and what I like to do is I like to go back um, three four Five. I like to go back and do, um, I reinforce. So I'm gonna come underneath. I, I wanna make sure that they're slipping into those holes, the spaces in between my threads. I push them up with my finger Grace the top of my thread. I remember when I first started looming, I couldn't understand how every once in a while there would be a bead that would sort of slip down lower. How did that happen? And then when I figured out uh, what was going on, now notice this is far away from this. I can just move this up to this. Um, I'm gonna, to I'm, coming, I'm coming back through. I'm gonna reinforce these. Yeah, I can slide that down. Um, that feels really solid now. So I'm going to do another five. I know all of you are thinking right now how great Kate is at this. <laughs> oh, Katie. She Never makes Never allowed to she, leave on a Facebook Live day. No, yes. no, this is the last this is the last time, Katie. I think you're doing just you fine. you can only have vacations Thursday through Tuesday. So Mel I want to make there's something about looming. When the beads slot into place for you, it's so rewarding. Yes, it is. That's true. It really is. There's a couple of questions about the weft 
uh, if you're if you're making it just thick enough to fit into the clasp. Yes. So you kind of will will taper these. Right. So I'm bringing this down here closer. So I'm bringing them together. I mean, that's how forgiving this thing is. You can just go, oh, I'm going to do it however I want. Now I can take this end and I should have made it a little longer, but I still think I have enough and I'm going to tighten it down so that, um, so we don't have all the gizmos. So when Kate or Emily at the office go, oh, I need this, or will someone hand me this? Um, we're in Virginia where we don't have uh, everything that the, the office in California has. So we have to... I'm pretty sure everyone just saw my face on there. <laughs> I'm trying to do that. <laughs> exactly. We don't have every gadget and gizmo. We don't have with like... our camera set up and lighting. Yeah. So, but we're making the best of maybe, it. Maybe this will convince them at the office that we need to spend some money on the East Coast team. Well, Everybody write in okay. and tell them how we need our own Mevo. And I, I'm getting some, I'm doing pictures on my iPhone here, guys. So we'll have um, pictures in the episode notes, close ups, that will be a good companion to working with this video. So I am now, I'm just, I'm graduating it down with the end. And if you see or hear a kitty, uh, that's Sammy, who's walking across the table right now, wondering what we're doing. He's been Very sleeping cute. all this time. They're both up, Sadie. Oh, they're oh, both Sadie, up? Sadie's sniffing okay. the flip-flops over there. We're getting a lot of love, so okay. I think we're doing okay. Okay. Uh, oh, and Kate just popped on. Katie! Hi, Kate. <laughs> Katie! Get your booty here, kiddo. I How was the trip? How was the flight? Mel says we want to see kitties. We'll, we'll see if we can, or no, that was Guido who said that. Mel says hi, Sammy. We'll see if we can get them on camera afterwards. Okay. They will somehow mysteriously disappear. So do you see how I'm graduating it down? And, uh, but just make sure you, you're going to end your, your weft in the middle. Don't end it on the ends because it'll just sort of then hang out. So I'm gonna bring it back into the middle. Then I'm gonna check that it works with my clasp. I'm gonna go under and over one more. Kate says, car and I just landed in Dallas, next stop Cleveland. Oh, Kate, good luck. I know you're gonna, we know you're gonna do great. Okay, now I'm gonna check and I bet this is, this is almost perfect so to fit in here. You're just tightening this as you I'm tightening them left. as I go and I should have, would have, could have, I should have left this one longer but I can still come back and do at least another row or two, at least. So, and I like this blue with it because the theme of this one is along the river. I love that these beads sort of look like river rocks. Um, okay, so I'm gonna set this aside for a minute. I've moved my weft down now. Um, I didn't come to, I don't wanna come to, uh, well, I'm gonna come back through, so don't think this is gonna end here, okay? And then I've got some other beads that I can use um, that I picked out of the Popcorn Padres. Um, I'm gonna do maybe one more row of these A dots, because we don't wanna just spend the whole day, the whole time just you watching me string. Um, It's kind of to soothing watch to watch me string. Kathy says she has the mushroom padres on the way to her. Oh, fun. They are my favorite of the new popcorn padres. I love these yeah, flowers. They, I love them too. So does anyone have any pearls of wisdom about 
they've done this project and there's something that they've learned that you can share with all of us. Happening now, that mommy. Has to be what it is. Mommy, what's going on? Can it ended. Just, there's either an amber alert or which I hope not. Um, or we're living in an area where even though it's sunny right now, we could have flash Do you know floods. What it was it was it was the National Wireless Emergency Alert System, the presidential alert. It was just testing. Yep. Oh, okay. So okay, so we're good, right? Yeah, it was just. I got the same thing on my phone. Okay. Yeah, the federal test alert. We're into so test. did everybody get it? Everyone um, must have got it. A lot of people. It. <laughs> a lot of people, I think, did. Didn't that agency know that we were on live? Apparently, they didn't care. I did guess they get not. Our memo? Okay, now I'm going to use. Um, these fun, I, I separated out some of the nice Padres. Gita says she didn't get the alert. Oh, Gita, <laughs> you have to move to America. Then you can get the alerts with us. Kate says they even got it on the plane. Oh. Yep. Yeah, only on cell phones. I think it's just the one thing though. I don't think they'll, they'll beat us again. So these beads are bigger. And I'll show you on this one um, how it goes wider. So you don't have to worry. You can go bigger, you can go littler. I'm just gonna, um, so what I wanna do on the other end, I'm just opening my threads a little bit against the side. Let me see if I can, I'm gonna just show you, moving this down a second. And I just want to widen this a little bit because I'm going bigger now. So now you're going to be off the screen, though. Okay. Oh, you're showing. I'm showing, showing them. Them. I just yes. opened okay. these up a little bit I understand. so that there's a little more space. So you do you, as Katie says. Okay. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to bring it back is this now probably uh, in screen let's wait for that to catch up but okay I think so. just about I think we're a little low I think we're gonna move up this way more Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm getting these into place. Maybe I picked be the biggest Padres and I should have gotten smaller ones. Let's see. Let's try this together, see if this will work. Oh, I'd like to kind of cull some of the, the bigger ones. Yeah, the, yeah, I probably should have culled them, but we're here right now. Let's see if we need to cull them. I'm not sure. Let me see if I can make it nice and even. I don't want it bulging on one side and not the other. So I'm just like guitar strings. I'm just gonna, okay. So I am going to uh, reinforce this one a couple of times. So Ginger says, with the extra threads from this project, she's thinking of making a tassel. Oh. Which I think is... Extra threads from this project. Well, you're going to have to cut these, right? When you when you cut these? Oh, yeah. There's, There's a, a lot. You know the other thing? Oh, I forgot to tell you all this. This is the other great thing about this board. Now, you can't necessarily string on more beads, but you can push all this thread, your whole project, to the underside of the board and then you have another looming project. You just push it along. Does that make sense, Drea? Yeah, it does. So you, before you cut it off the board, uh, make sure you've um, 
uh, I'm reinforcing this. Uh, now I guess I'm doing it from underneath. Let's, um, I might have gone on the wrong side, but. Trish says, flip it and do another. Yeah, flip it, exactly. Or, you know, like slide it along, whatever, you know what I mean, slide it along. And I think Gita okay. asked what the difference between the Padres and popcorn Padres are. So the Padres, that's such a good question. The Padres that we originally got are from Africa. They're African glass, and found that they're actually making Padres in Indonesia. And they're a little less consistent and we decided, I decided, in my wisdom, to call them popcorn padres because they seem to pop big to little, big to little. I'm gonna move you over. Me, move me where you want me, okay. Let's see how that goes. I think it might be a little better in frame here. Hello, kitty, your hair is clean with my bracelet. Okay, so. It's getting caught on the chair. Then I'm gonna come back and go through this one again. I love these two colors together, Those this really blue good. with the mustard. So you could also uh, color block this so that you could separate all your beads. Am I in frame, Drea? Yep. Uh, my thread. Uh, this KO is so forgiving. That looks pretty good to me. And I think I'll do one more row of this before we do the leather. So if I can't get through this bead because the hole is off, I'm going to just stop where in the middle here and now bring it through the rest of the way, making sure you try to scrape the top. And those are really pretty solid. Okay, so let's do, I'm gonna do one more row of the blue. Um, and the, the thing you can get into, which is what I got into and why my abacus bracelet is so long, is that I just so enjoyed just doing this. I forgot how long I was getting. But you can adjust. You can adjust it. You can take. Easy. Yeah, it's very easy. I just wanted a nice big section, though, of the the beads in the middle that are floating. So um, I just said, well, I'm just going to make it a little longer. Okay, so this is my last row of this. I want to reinforce this. I'm gonna come back through this way. I have to. S and then we have learned from Emily and Kate about zigzagging, so we can end this thread um, in the middle. Just weave it back into. Yep, we can weave it back we'll through. So I'm just going to. That's, that was my beginning thread. So I'm gonna come up through here, go through like two beads. Actually, I'll go through the three and then come out. Kate says that she and Connor are getting off the plane and they'll check back in later. Oh, okay. She said they were finishing the samples on the plane. Oh, the samples for beads, baubles, and jewels, yeah. I don't know how Kate does it. Somehow Kate has a longer minute than I do. Her minutes. You strung the, these beads on really quick when I came over no. here. Yes, you did. Okay, so I'm gonna go back, zigzag, one more bead, two more beads, and then I should be able to snip this.
and it's in solid. Uh, Ellen says OBs would look spectacular in a looming project. Yes, you could really use pretty. you could use OBs on this so easily. Yes, snip. That's done. Now let's do the leather. Where is here's my leather? I'm going to move these all down a bit. Mel asked earlier, how do you go back and fix a bead later when you realize you missed it with the weft? Oh, how do I fix it later? I, oh, that's a good question. I, I fake it. I go back in with a new thread. I, I, what I'll do is, let's say I forgot that bead. That bead didn't get captured. I'll come through with a whole new thread. Maybe start here or come up a little bit, start here, go back, and redo the row and add it in okay. and lift it up. And it really usually works. Okay, so now we wanna do the, like, the money shot, which is how do, you, the, what, how do you do this leather, which is just, it's, I, I just love the leather part. So again, it's weft, and what you wanna do is you wanna start in the middle, not at the edge. And a big eye needle would work with this, but this is pretty sturdy stuff. Um, it's the, the uh, 0.5 millimeter leather. Yeah, it's the leather. 0.5. And I don't need this long a piece. Maybe you need for this little bit about a yard. I'm gonna cut it there to get rid of all of that. And then I'm just gonna come through And at this point in the project, you really do want to tighten it as you go. Let me move this out of the way now. You know, take your time, there's no hurry. This is going to get glued down that way. Is it going to go into the beads? No, I don't put, you could, I guess, try and get it back through a, a bead with a big hole, but I found that all you needed to do on the back side was take it up. And just glue it. Flatten right it, the, yeah, yeah, flatten it with a, smush it down with a little baggie. Smush it. Smush it, that's all you have to do. Yeah. So, now I, like I said earlier, this is what I wanna do a whole bracelet of, is just this. Weaving with the leather. Yeah, just weave, weave with the leather. this out of the way and clip this down with those trusty clipper things, whatever we call them. Uh, clampers. Clampers, clampers, that's what we named. Oh, what happened here? I don't think you went all the way through, did you? Oh, I guess not. Do over. Oh, you know, it's so funny. I was just thinking the same thing. Okay, let's start again. Take, take 10. And this is the Distressed Brown. Distressed Brown, yeah. 0.5. Mm -hmm. I love this color. I think this is one of Kate's favorites too. Now I didn't use any shadows or little shadows in this, but you certainly could. They have nice size holes. They would be really cute. Yeah, they All would be really cute. Mixed in there too. Maybe in place of the he she. Yeah. I thought the he she just brightened up the mushroom a little bit because it was a little, just a little just dark. Just it up a little bit. Yeah. So you don't want your your weft of your leather to be a lot bigger than the, the row of beads before it. Um, you mean you don't want it? You don't uh, want it like a lot wider or uh, too narrow, or you want to just try to keep it 
the same. Your bead, these are, these are, when these are done, these are much wider. They're going to splay mm -hmm. out a bit. But you, you want, you could work your way up to the width of your beads that are loose, the abacus beads. But when you're near your, um, the beads that you've already loomed, you want to start out trying to balance, at least I think so, balancing. Christine asks, could lay the leather end on a middle warp and weave over it as you weave to hide the end. You could, and that's probably an Ali Mori is to lay it down. And in fact, I could do that now. Why don't I do that now? I like that Ali Mori has now become the, uh, and the word. It's, it's a verb. It's, it a, it's <laughs> become a verb now. Okay, so we're going to do an Ali Mori. But, this, um, this is a but Christine that's probably Whitney. a Chris. This, yes, this is a Christine Whitney idea. Yes, so this is a Christine. I, I'm sorry, Christine. I didn't mean to take the idea away from you, but when Allie Mori talked about hiding the beginning of the macrame threads underneath, if that was like all these years of doing that stitch, and that had never occurred to me, and you're right, this had never occurred to me either. Now you want to do this. On the back so this is I'm assuming this is the back because um, you don't want that to show um, Christine is this what you're talking about where that just gets woven yeah. inside okay clever 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 this is why we do this as a team with the leather as if it's one thread. The warp thread or the weft? The warp, because you're gonna go, uh, you're gonna weft over and around it. Yes. So the leather tail and the warp thread just treat it as one. Does that make yes, sense? Yes, I think that makes sense, exactly. Drink over here. Oh, Sadie. Sadie, do you have a tease for Moxie? Who knew? Okay, so I this I love this. I love, love, love this. This came through. Well, we'll bring we'll bring it back up, but um, it looks so cool. Don't worry, ladies. There will be plenty of pictures of cats in the episode notes. They're hanging right, hanging over right here. I'm just gonna. We are so quiet compared to Kate and Emily. They, I think I'm trying to do too many things, and I'm not being very conversational. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. We're getting the we're getting the project done. And. Angela asked if the tail could even hide inside the Padres. We kind of thought that, but I'm not entirely sure it will fit. I think it's a little hard to get it back in. It's I think it'll maybe. also separate uh, the Padres. It'll, it'll pull them apart from each other. And you would notice Maybe, it, yeah. yeah. Uh, could you use surfer, surfer cord instead of the leather? Yes. That's Lori asks that. You could use anything. Especially, especially if we're we're vegan, we don't want to use any leather. Absolutely, Abs absolutely. Um, okay, so we got the idea of this. I could keep doing this for hours. This is so like. How, how thick do you think you would want this to be? I would like this the whole length of the bracelet. Okay, well, you did say that. <laughs> I just, I love, I, I like love how the look, the look of the, the woven leather. It's really... Um, well, you know, if we say you do you, you can make it as, right. as, as much yeah. or as little of that as you desire. I just think that in relation to like these three rows, I wouldn't want it the same width, the same spacing. 
So I would either go a lot wider or I would stay at a, you know, maybe a little bit more than this. But I don't like the same, the same, the same, the same, the same, the same. So that's something to think about. So I'm going to do uh, one more row. Gita says, please do this for our instructor. Oh, Gita, you're so sweet. Hey, Gita, do you want to do next week? Yeah, fly out here. <laughs> Just hop on a plane. Okay. Okay, so I'm doing this last row. Oh, Angela has clarified. Now, if you put that tail into the loose padre alongside that same thread uh, and tuck it into there. But then it, it, it will move the loose, then you can't have that padre move. The thing about those padres is none of them, they need to be able to move away from the leather. So I think this is a very clever idea of doing this. Um, I, if you put it into a padre, then then it's going to sit there and it's not going to move, which... I think just one of the Padres, just one bead staying put, I don't think it would be very noticeable. Um, maybe, you, it, you know, if, if you want to try that, um, please try that. I found that all I needed to do was literally just glue it down a little bit and it, it's, it has stayed down and I've worn this bracelet a lot, so... Um, but I, I like this idea of threading it back through. So, um, how would we, we would loosen this up. Let me loosen this a little bit and bring this through that. So at least it's held down with one row. I know that you all are gonna come up with like some very cool solution to this. Um, I was just lazy and found, oh, you can glue it down. glue it down. Rosie asks, how mindful of your bracelet length are you at this point? Um, you, now is when you, you're very right. Now is when you have to start getting mindful. Now is when you need to think, um, so you could, if you want, you could lift this up and weave it back through even maybe one more. I'm gonna, I'll do that one more. And then all you need to do is then just do a small dab of zap glue. Every time I take the tweezers out, it, the leather just wants to go back in. Don't move the table. Oh, okay. Sorry. Don't move the table. So okay. Okay, now I'm gonna take the zap glue. And I know I should do a Katie. Where's the little the little baggie? The baggie. Don't have the little baggie. Um, but I'm just gonna put like a little, just a dab. Just right there. That's it. Let that dry. Um, Perfect. And I actually do want to get a little baggy because what I did is I smushed it down. Do you, is there a little baggy there? Thank you. And then I just went like this. And just sort of flattened it down then let it dry and that's it Perfect. okay so now what we want to do is we want to just see what the length is here and um, I'm gonna measure this I've got my clasp somewhere it was it's oh here it is here. okay so that would go there 
My wrist is about a six and a half. I'm move it this way a bit. Okay. So okay. More on that end that we're working on. And now what I want to do is I want to measure how much work I have. Now there's no reason they have to be the same on both sides. I just like the bookend feeling of a similar design on each side. But this here is giving me, okay, so I put the clasp there. This length is giving me It's giving me about two and a quarter inches. So if I wanna go to like six and three quarters, I'm gonna to come to, can, can we see this end? Okay, oh, we can. So we're gonna to come to like about there total. So um, I've got way too many beads, <laughs> so. We're probably going to have maybe about that many beads. See, this one was a little too long. This is at seven and a half. If I want to go to seven and I have this much of, of the, the other side, like five and a, or two and a half, mm -hmm. or one and a half almost, one and three quarters. So I'm going to have about that many beads on this side. So I have maybe a little too much if I want to get the right length for me. So you measure your wrist. And then what you're going to do is you just start your leather on the other side and you repeat everything. So I'm, I'm going to say probably that's about enough. Let's see, I'm going to put this up here again. there. It might even be too much. I, that's what I said. This is the science of the measuring. This is how much I measure. Uh, um, so it's about two inches. So I really, like I, like I said, I think it's going to go to about here. And then I would leave a little room so that they, and make sure you don't let your beads come up here while this is drying like you want to leave about that much room on each strand, maybe a quarter of an inch. Um, and then you can start your leather on the other side, repeat this on the other side, and, and just go to the other side. So now what we want to do, um, if we were going to take this um, off and glue it, what we would do now is we would glue just the ends here uh, make sure it can fit into the clasp. Um, but we've been on air now a little over an hour, yeah. and we got most of the bracelet done. Yeah. I mean, this is this is really a very quick and easy project. And you, we would need more of this weft to fit into the clasp. A little bit, a little more. bit more. So yeah. So you see, you've got. It's about that much will fit in. So you can always measure the inside, like take something, a tweezers, or um, if you really want to be high tech, take a ruler if it'll fit in. Um, but anything, a toothpick, and you can mark where it is and then you know, okay, I need a quarter of an inch for the weft. So I'm going to, um, oh, let me move this out. And because we reinforced at the beginning so many times, um, uh, with, with the KO, I went back and forth and back and forth. You could actually cut this right off because it's been done so many times. If you only did it once, if you went back and forth only once, I would recommend you take this end and take a big eye needle and then bring it back in and through into the middle. But because I reinforced so many times, 
I don't have to worry. I'm just going to cut it off. And that little bit of crew cut there is just going to disappear. It happened so fast you didn't even see it, Drea. I didn't. I was reading comments. So okay. Lynn, Lynn makes the point that you could make fewer rows of the eight dots and only two rows of the Padres to start, right. so you have a longer section of the popcorn Padres in the middle. Yes. I mean, do this is an, another you do you whatever you want you can do. Yeah. It's super customizable. Uh, my wrists are are very small, and I right. often will make my own iteration of a, a bead shop project that will right. actually fit on my wrist. And I just you know. A few, a few less rows, a few fewer beads. Okay, so I'm just gonna check that that's, that will fit in there, if that looks like it will. You're getting a lot of love for this project. Too. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad we were able to do it and answer some of these questions um, that, you know, these questions that have been, you know, burning on everyone's mind. Um, okay, so we have, two ends here we have the end where I just ended the weft in the middle and then this ended in the middle too so the you know everyone's gonna have maybe a different way of doing this but what I would do here is I would just put a little tiny bit of zap glue there just a little tiny bit just a dab it's not gonna go anywhere some of you may go well when I'm doing this I want to weave it back through and you can. And the same with this one is not gonna go anywhere because it's actually gonna get glued inside. So let's take, let's take the zap glue and I'm gonna just put a little tiny, a little drop there. That's it, that's all I needed. And I'm just gonna rub that in a little bit. And all it really does is it just sort of sears the thread to itself. I haven't really gotten it, hopefully on the beads. And then I'm going to do this also at this end. And we have shown on multiple projects um, how to do this. Um, Oftentimes when you're looming, we warn you, be really careful, making sure that you leave some air because if you glue right up against everything, when you turn your bracelet into a circle, um, it's too tight for anything to move. But because we're leaving air on this end, we're not gonna have that problem. Your beads are gonna move around really nicely. So now, really all you have to do, let this dry. You can take off any excess. And then what I like to do is when this is really dry, I give, I give these threads like a crew cut right to here. It's just a little tiny bit. And then I'm going to add glue again to the weft and then I'm going to cut, after I've cut this, then I'm gonna add the glue and then I put it inside the clasp. And that's, that's it. Then the project is finished. I can't do it right now because the threads are still wet, but I can cut that. This looks great. Yeah. And, and we actually want to finish this sample, so I'm not going to cut it off the board now. Yeah, well, but that's what you would be doing now, is you would finish this side and, um, and then cut it off the board. But I don't want to do that now. But I can, I can cut this, and then that's it. I think we have a project here. It's beautiful. Like that's it. it. I think we can go yeah, back move to a camera. Maybe the kitties will come back and oh, they're still around. They've been hanging out. Sammy, are you want to come over and say hi? Hmm? Do you want to come say camera. hi? Come on up. Come on. Sorry up. guys. Come on. Where's Sadie? Where's Sadie? Come on up, Sammy. Back down here. Come on up. Come on up, let's get you so everyone can say hi to you. Come here. Oh, 
come on back. Come on, come here, Sammy. Sammy is avoiding us now. He doesn't want to come on screen. I think it's mostly because I'm here. He's they, been bothering us. They do run when I'm around. He's been bothering, well, maybe because they smell your puppy. Maybe. Or the rabbit. But they've been bothering us the whole hour and a half, and now they're avoiding us. So, um, cats, you can't live with them, and you can't live without them. I actually have so, to, uh, our oh, oh you like my kitchen. Oh, I, th you know, if, if, if I thought that it was in good working order, everything, I would give you a tour. But, um, now my, is my head out of the screen? Are we in screen? Well, when you lean really forward, I guess it was out. But we're, okay. Just now. lean really oh, now, okay, I'm going to have a sip of I water. I can move the, I can okay. move us back too. Now that Ooh. we're, now that we're done with the close up. So this was not. This was not up to Kate's standards. You did a great job. We worked with what we had. But we worked with what we had. We worked with what we had. Maybe we now have answered the questions about Abacus Looming. I think so. We had, uh, I mean, if there's any more extra questions here, you guys, uh, post away. We can away. put it in episode notes. I'll, yep. Yeah, you know me. They'll all be in episode notes. Drea does great episode notes. So after today's project, if you go back to, um, our website, mm -hmm. beadshop.com, and you go to projects and you click on textile looming, because yep. this is under the it's, textile yep. looming project. Um, you'll see on the landing page for both Abacus Looming and um, uh, by the river, along, along the river, the river. Um, a little thing that says download episode notes, a little link. Yeah, right below uh, the, the, the photo. Right. And Next week, they will be posted, and there will be lots of close-ups and little tips about what to do, and we'll answer. So it'll be there. It'll live there forever. If there's, so. Yes, and if you have more questions, yeah. uh, you can let me know. I'll, I'll be writing the notes tomorrow. So or email me you email. at info at beachop.com. Info at beachop yeah. uh, I did take pictures with my cell phone, so hopefully we have some good clear photos Great. for the episode notes. Without Baranduin and her photos. I know. And everyone, <laughs> you were so patient. It was really nice um, to be back. Kate's saying, Kara and I are having lunch in the Dallas airport and watching you. Well, hi, Kate. Oh, hi. and Christina, thank you. Um, I, I guess we did okay. You I did mean, great. I just winged it. But, you did You did all the work. You but did I learned project. something today. I learned mm -hmm. something. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to... Do more of hiding threads. I t I'm kind of this a is, little bit of a lazy smart beater. Smart ideas, though. We got some smart we, ideas. We did. Today. We did. I always like um, my fail safe is zap glue. Like, I glue if you a lot. can zap glue, I glue it, a lot. then glue it. So um, I might be able to grab uh, Sammy, and then we can say, everyone can say hi to Sammy. So we want to tell you a little bit about. What's we today? have, today is October 3rd, 2018, and we have our sale, which if you open your morning newsletter, you already had access to it, but all day today, oh goodness, I hope this is not backwards on screen. Can everyone see Sammy? It is backwards on screen. I am how so sorry. It, how is it back? Oh, because of the phone. Because of the phone. Oh. This is fun. Oh. Sorry. Can you read backwards, guys? Our sale today is Tribal 25 for 25% off Tribal and Trade, and that ends at midnight tonight. Sammy wants that. <laughs> if you hold it up this way, because the, the light uh, you can't really see through it. it. Uh, and you, you can still see Janice's picture, but we yeah. have a, a, basically a kit, a third colorway that we picked that is going to be our raffle today. Uh, I will type this in the comments, but just type in Abacus in your... A-B-A-C-U-S, or just Abby or Ab. Put, put Abacus so that you don't give the shipping team a heart yeah. attack, please. Yeah. But put Abacus in your shipping notes uh, for... Sammy, we don't need to see your... For one, on for one hour. For one hour. For one hour. It is 3 o'clock hour time, so noon. So by 1 p.m. Pacific time. Uh huh. And then this is our colorway that we will send to one person. We picked the rainbow right. popcorn padres. We have a seed bead. We don't have we don't have here the correct leather, but the metallic pearl, metallic pearl, uh, which would be in the point five. The silver bountiful, which a is silver. So okay, Sammy, you go down. And then we have argentum ceylon, 
And KO. And light gray KO. Yeah, it's going to so, be really pretty. Can you? See, I don't know if we can see the stuff. I should have I done this before I. I think you before, can. Before uh, yeah. taking the camera down. But we have this great kit. We're going to send it out uh, to one winner. We'll draw a name uh, mm -hmm. about an hour after the broadcast ends. So get your orders in. Uh, abacus in your order notes. Look at this picture she drew and everything. Oh, I know. So cute. backwards, it's okay. Yeah, that I have doesn't cat matter. Hair now all over my face. I'm always covered in either <laughs> rabbit or dog or cats. Your cats, <laughs> Kim's cats, my best friend. I am covered yeah. in animal hair yeah. 24 seven. Uh, but that's okay. That's it's just love. It's love that they're leaving on us. Yeah, it 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 is a, a very pretty colorway. It's very festive. It and we always love anything with silver. So, um, so one lucky winner is going to get that today. Yes. So. Sammy's getting some love. Sammy's getting some love. I wish Sadie, Sadie's sleeping um, in the window, so sorry about there's, that. There's going to be photos for the episode. Yeah, notes. okay. I, I just okay. Them. I can't thank you enough for doing this with me today, I had Adrian. fun. It was exciting. So, it was um, good. Everyone out there, thank you for your patience, for sticking with us today. Um, it, I know it wasn't easy watching it. Um, through our little iPhone camera, but um, thanks so much for joining us. So, anything else you want to add? No, well, check your newsletters tomorrow okay. for info on our raffle for the MG Walk. Right. Uh, all the info will be in tomorrow's uh, newsletter, as well as that cute picture you were talking about of Alfie writing his check. Right, it was so cute. And... Oh, wait, let's remember the twilight hour Oh, uh, we should see show. mix. We, um, the cats have been spilling it yeah, all the over the table. Bit, but, but for Randuin's mix. Yeah, it's a it's a really interesting okay, take for October. Um, and it's like about what this. happens when Wait, it goes from light to dark at night. Instead I'm of it being it. like, oh, let's do an orange and black mix. It's really much it's more mindful it's and beautiful. interesting. Yeah, kind of twilight. So. That mixes up. It's mm -hmm. under a monthly mixes. Yep. So um, that should do well. And maybe, it is. It was, I think Kate's going to do something off. with it um, on Free Tip Friday. But she's not doing not Free Tip Friday next week. Next week. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They're, they're traveling back. So, um, okay, everybody. All right. All right. All right. Thanks um, for joining us. I will see you next time. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.